What's bedlam mean? Um, I mean, you, you don't want to lose bedlam. You know, that's a that's a big duel for us always. That's why we uh, that's why we wrestle twice. You know, it's, it's more important than a lot of the other matches on our schedule. Uh, you know, this is a Oklahoma's kind of known for being a wrestling state, and we want to make sure that we're the we're the best wrestling school. So, you know, if you do, to, to be that, you gotta you gotta win Bedlam. I've seen a lot of talk, at least at the football level, of the Bedlam series and, and stuff like that. I mean, for a wrestler though, hearing all the talk of Bedlam and this, that, and the other, I mean, how 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 important is it for a wrestler to ensure that? <laughs> Bedlam Wrestling Series goes beyond whenever OU leaves Big 12. Yeah, I mean, it's a uh, it's going to be important that we we continue to wrestle because you know that's a uh, that's going to be the only kind of bedlam we have probably is uh, is that wrestling uh, those wrestling duels. So it's uh, hopefully it even makes those matches even even bigger for, for not even just wrestling fans but fans <coughs> of uh, just of the schools. You know, if, if that's the only only time that we're gonna go up against each other, then I think that would be a pretty big, uh, pretty big uh, event. Speaking of what things mean to you, you, got that guy over there comes back for another year, and I know you guys have a really good relationship off the mat. So kind of, and seeing what he's been through, you know, being with father now and getting back into the groove of wrestling, kind of talk about, you know, what it's been like seeing one of your best friends get back to, to wrestling and being a father. Yeah, I'm just glad that he's he's happy. You know, he's doing what he what he loves to do. You know, he's getting to spend a lot of time with, with his kid, which is, you know, it's extremely important. Um, and he's, you know, he's wrestling really well. Uh, you know, it's a long season, and he knows that, you know, it's, you know, you know one match doesn't really, you know, it doesn't win, win at the end. But, you know, that's a, a big win he had, had last week. And if he can just, you know, keep, you know, get better and, and focus in on, on his performance during, uh, during his matches, then I think that, he has a great shot at you know finishing pretty high on the podium. I know you're from Oklahoma. Either as a player, kid growing up, or fan, what are some of your fondest Bedlam memories um, that resonate with you? Um, I mean, I, I think that we, we won Bedlam pretty much every time right. I was growing up. So it was a, a lot of a lot of OSU in it. Uh, you know, but I'm, I'm outside of wrestling. You know, I've I've always been an Oklahoma State fan. So you know, even watching other sports, you know, I've always always wanted always you to win so it's a uh, bedlam that's it, it really does you know they say it means more and it, and it does for, for everybody especially us you know competing in it Dayton looking behind you your face twice road to Tulsa you walk in here every day and you see that uh, how does that motivate you this season that's uh, you know it's a, well, it's the motivation I need uh, you know Tulsa it's my my hometown so you know it's a uh, be a great place to, to win my first national title, that's for sure. Uh, but you know, on the other hand of it, I'm just you know focus, focusing on each day. You know, just getting better. You know, I'm not I'm not worried about you know the outcome of the season. I'm just trying to get better every day. <coughs> and if I do that, then you know the results are going to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. And I, I I know Coach preaches bonus points when guys wrestle you. They are the op you know guys will try to avoid bonus points. <coughs> uh, how do you? I mean. You being the wrestler you, you are, how are you able to mentally kind of force yourself to, to beat that? You know, when, when guys are purposely trying not to allow bonus points, how do you force yourself to, to do that? Yeah, I think it just goes back to, to me focusing on my, my performance, you know, rather than worrying about the outcome of my matches. Just focus on performing well. You know, if I perform to the ability that I know I can, then, then I'm going to, you know, those bonus points are going to come. It's just a... Uh, you know, I don't don't really worry about the outcome of the match. You know, because sometimes whenever you do that, you you, you start to try to force things. <clears throat> it uh, gets a little tougher. But if I just go out there and focus on performing, I think that you know those uh, those bonus points will come more. You've had a really unique career here at Oklahoma State and two second place finishes. And I'm curious. You know, I know there's something to take away from each finish, no matter what place on the podium or not on the podium. What is something that you took away from last year going in and taking it with you into this year? Um, you know, anytime you take a loss, there's just an opportunity to learn. So, you know, it's, uh, I was you know, pretty much right back, right back in the room right after that. You know, I didn't take much of a break and, uh, 
you know, it's just, I just got to put it all together at yeah. the end. You know, it's, uh, been there, been there, you know, a couple times. So just got to focus in on, you know, performing my best at the end. How do and that's, uh, that's what I plan on doing. How do you stay focused? You know, obviously, you know, someone, not yourself, but you know, someone could go through another loss like that and they just, they're down in the dumps and they never get back to themselves. You know, how do you really kind of stay focused and stay being yourself and not take a step back? Uh, you know, that's just who I am. You know, I, you can, you, know, you can knock me down however many times you want, but I'm, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to be, be right there, you know, waiting on you. Uh, you know, it's a, uh, this is what I love to do. So it's a, uh, you know, I don't, I don't get discouraged. You know, I, I know that I know who I am and I know that, you know, the kind of wrestler I am and I feel like, you know, that I am the, that I'm the best, you know, anytime I walk out there, you know, I have that, that confidence and I just gotta you know, go perform. You guys, as a team, maybe don't have the expectations from the outside that you've had in your years past. What's it like being a leader of this particular group? Um, I mean, it's, uh, there's gonna be a lot of opportunities to grow and learn. I think that, you know, last weekend, it was just, you know, another one of those opportunities, you know, it's a, you know, team comes in here, we're, you know, we're favored and stuff starts not going our way and you know, we, we end up losing that duel but I think that you know, in every one of those matches we lost there's you know, a, lot of, a lot of opportunity to, to grow and I think that you know, you're going to see a, a lot of different teams you know, come at the end of the year. All around you there were people switching weights. Was there a thought from you to move on from, from 133? Uh, no, not, not for me. You know, I, this is the, you know, I think I've performed pretty well this way in my career. Uh, you know, and, you know, with, with Armour Robbie Young coming back, you know, there was really no, uh, no, no second, uh, second thoughts of me coming back and going 133. You know, that's uh, if I want to win against anybody, you know, that, that's who I want to be in the national finals. So. So they, you said you said after RBY coming back, it cemented that. But was there before? You know, you didn't know he was coming back. Was there any thought of, of moving? Uh, no, not really. No, it's uh, I, I feel I feel like I wrestle the best when I'm at 133. You know, that's a, a good way for me. So you know, I, I I don't really struggle to make it. You know, it's a uh, it's not too much of a of a cut. So it's a uh, pretty much the optimal way for me.